I am leaving the UK in three weeks time. And it's just to my luck that this has had to happen at my house three weeks before I leave. Yeah, so it's not great. So what's happened is yesterday decided to make sense of everything and start throwing things away because if I rent this house out, everything needs to go. There's a hell of a lot of stuff that I need to get done before I can even think about renting out my house. One of them was to get rid of, I had about 200 books, right? So I've got rid of all of them. That then left me with an empty bookcase, which is out here. This is what it was. This was full of books. It's no longer full of books. The books are elsewhere. But when I took the bookcase off, it left me with this. So basically what had been happening is there was a very minor leak. There still is a very minor leak that's been happening up here. The bathroom is above here. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And it's been leaking very lightly for probably 10 or 20 years. I've only lived here for nine months. This bookcase has been here since it was built, which was 60 years ago or 70 years ago. So it's probably been leaking for a long time. The joists are wet, but I'm hoping they're not rotten. I've had to pull the ceiling out. There was mushrooms and all sorts growing in here. So I had to go to the shop yesterday to buy myself a mask. Uh, and I had to get that gone. I've bleached it, but it's left me with a big hole in the ceiling Which I'm now gonna have to get fixed and I'm gonna have to get the pipe fixed and I'm gonna have to get the bathroom stripped So let me take you up to the bathroom. The bathroom is old school. This is an old house I bought this house off one of my grandma's friends So you can imagine what the bathroom is going to be looking like that was full of mushrooms It was just a mushroom field mate as you can see it's a bit grimy This is all gonna have to get ripped out but I'm not a plumber. So I've got a plumber coming in tonight to give me a quote on how much everything's gonna cost, what needs to be fixed, the extent of the problem, and I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and pay it. On the other hand, I am packing everything away. I've ordered loads of boxes. I've got quite a few boxes here already, ready for when I do rent the house or if I rent the house, but I'm basically trying to make sense of everything in my house. There's boxes everywhere, there's moving boxes everywhere, there's a mess everywhere, the living room's a mess. I don't know whether to get rid of some of my furniture or keep it because I don't know what I'm going to be doing with my house just as yet. I'm still waiting for my permission to let, right? That might come in three weeks, that might come in a month, it might, come, might not come till, you know, next month. I don't know. So I can't do anything until I get my permission to let back but I've also got a lot to do to the house before I can even think about renting it out. So the plan is really to go wherever I'm gonna go in Southeast Asia, wherever that's gonna be, which is looking like Thailand at the minute. Wait for my permission to let, to get back. Probably come back for my birthday, which is in October or maybe early like for Christmas or whatever. Come back, fix the house up, rent it out and then go back out or wherever the world takes me. I mean, I might end up not even like living abroad and I might end up just coming back to the UK, I don't know. But essentially in the next three weeks, the plan is to strip the whole living room. So get this fixed, get the leak fixed, strip the carpets. I mean, look at the state of this at the minute. Probably get rid of these. I'm gonna keep the piano, I think. Uh, I need to take all the wallpaper off, probably take that back to plaster. Just strip it all in preparation for when I do come back in a few months to sort things out with my house. It's all stripped and ready to be done up. That's basically the plan. Because I can't rent it out with, with ceilings falling down, with 95 year old bathrooms. I mean, look at the toilet. I'm gonna show you the toilet real quick, right? That, if that doesn't scream, we're going to grandma and granddad's house an apple pie and custard then I don't know what does. Anyway I'm gonna stop talking now. If you're new to this channel my name's Zach with a K. I'm documenting my journey as a 22 year old. Quitting my job, leaving the country, gonna go and explore new things, explore new ways of life and hopefully find some sort of vocation slash career slash path uh, because right now I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm excited for this new chapter in my life. So follow along for the journey, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.